Hey guys, I don't usually film an introduction to my videos where I'm just talking to the camera, but I thought with this video it might be a little bit appropriate because I want to share a few tips with you if you want to paint your own t-shirt. I'm wearing my Christmas t-shirt today. Um, one thing is make sure you wash your t-shirts before you paint on them because a lot of times they'll have something called sizing in them and it makes it where they don't take the paint very well. Another thing is do not use fabric softener. The fabric softener will also make it hard for the shirt to take the paint. So wash it, dry it, put a uh, cardboard or a paper bag in between it um, before you start painting because that'll keep it from sticking together or paint bleeding through the t-shirt into onto the back. Another tip is to, if you're using acrylics, use fabric medium mixed in. That'll make it so that the um, paint doesn't crack as easily. But you can take your inspiration from anything. You can draw your own fan art, put that on the t-shirt. Uh, and copy somebody else's fan art as long as you're not selling it um, as long as you're not selling it you can do pretty much whatever you want to if you're going to sell it then it needs to be original when you when you finish painting you'll want to run your hand between uh, the shirt and the cardboard and that will unstick it because a lot of times the paint will saturate into the cardboard and it'll get stuck to it. If you just leave it there, then when it dries, you're going to have a mess. The cardboard is going to peel up and it's going to be on the back of your shirt. And when you wash it, it's going to become a pulpy mess in your washing machine. Uh, so do that right after you finish. And then a couple of hours later, check it again uh, and do it again. If you use a lot of paint and it's super wet and saturated, you might want to do it again a couple of hours after that. But um, always let it dry completely. Usually overnight is best. And then just enjoy your shirt. Uh, you might want to, if it is an original work, sign it, date it. Let people know so that when they come up to you and say, Oh my gosh, I love your shirt. You can be like, oh, thank you. I did it. Uh, so I guess we'll just get right into the video um, because there's not a whole lot of new information. It's mostly going to be, you know, just a few outtakes of the actual process and maybe some sped up uh, footage because we just let the camera roll while we were doing this and we were having so much fun we didn't realize that we painted for nearly two hours. So yeah, if you want to do this, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours if you, you know, do a good job and have a um, more complex design. The more complex the design, of course, the longer it's going to take. Um, Ray's was a simple design, but because his um, background color, the black of the helmet was so uh, super saturated he had to wait for it to dry before he could paint in the detail all right so let's get started with that video hey guys and welcome to geek family kitchen hooray Yay. and this is our holiday editions holiday. Okay, we're going to be doing four crafts for the holiday or is it three i one of those i can't remember lots if you want to know exactly how many you can watch our previous uh Afternoons and Coffee Spoons video in which we go over all the videos we have upcoming for December. Alright, uh, so our first one, well, let's, first let's, so, you may have noticed that our daughter is missing. And that is because she has, um, an upcoming performance with the Nutcracker. And so she is at her practices. So she cannot join us for today. No, she will not be joining us today. That's a shame. But she will be doing her shirt. It'll just be later, and hopefully I can post some pictures on a social media, and you can check the links down below to get uh, to follow me. 
Okay, so if you watched us from the beginning, you know that we've done a, a t-shirt painting shirt before. The sound wasn't good, and I totally apologize. It was before we had good camera. So we're doing another shirt today. We're all going to do one. We've all created our own piece of fan art that we're going to be putting on. So just did a, a little sketch up on a white sheet of paper. I don't know if you can see that. That one's mine. Well, for me, I did the this one. This is me. Me. This is mine. Not All particularly right. the same thing on my shirt. No, we actually got some uh, fabric pencils. Fabric pencils. Fabric. They're not great. Fabric. Yeah. They're good enough. Things they might go. And then we have sketched out our design on our shirt. My shirt's so big! <laughs> now remember, always put something like cardboard. We've got cardboard in one, paper bags in others. We've got some parchment paper laid out on the table for our, our paint. We are using acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint, but we're using acrylic paint and fabric medium because acrylic paint is usually a lot cheaper. Fabric medium is expensive, but it goes a long way and like got all of these for, I don't know, like a, a dollar a piece or something. Yeah, they were not expensive at all. If you use fabric medium, always read your directions. This one is a one-to-one, -one, so we're going to be mixing um, one part of this to an equal part of our paint. And um, if you're using dark fabric shirts, you might want to paint uh, white and let that dry and then paint your color over it to get a more precise uh, color, the right color, to show up. Alright, so we're just going to get started um, picking our colors and our brushes. black done which was the biggest part I got the white part on the Santa hat done and I got all the lettering done mm -hmm. so now I gotta do the um, red of the Santa hat while I'm waiting for the black to dry and once the black's dry I can go in with a white brush and do the uh, the detail work and Victor, will you have me the, uh, the white piece? hopefully that will that will get her done That's okay. good job how's it going dear Oh, nice! That is a great tree. Good job. Are you going to do the outline of the Christmas tree? Not 
all this it's stuff you gonna, sketched in? That sketch is going to um, yeah. wash all away. Oh. Hmm, I guess I'll need to do some blue. Yeah. And white. Mix it together. I'm done. Woohoo! I think I was the first person to be done. Or maybe it's Victor and me. No, I'm not done yet. Oh, then I'm the first person to be done. Yep. I'd be done by now if my thing was dry. It's not good. <laughs> I think yours is going to take the longest. It might. What is the current child doing? Reaching out a chance for a present? Okay. Hey, you. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> Thanks, Weedy. <laughs> she is beautiful, girl. <laughs> She's the greatest. Be careful. Okay, oh. so.